Hey everybody, welcome back to Budget Bushcraft. My name is BK, some people call me Brian. Today we are going to do a review on this budget beast. I don't know how well you can see that from here, but this thing is awesome. The Schrade SCHF 45. If you can hear those sirens, I feel like I'm in a Michael Fire Jr. video. Anyway, we're going to test this out, and I'll give you some specs on it here in a minute, but this thing is absolutely an amazing, amazing chopper. Let's go check it out. This thing is pretty awesome when it comes to trying to baton stuff where you don't want to cut your damn hand like I did trying to do this with the SCH axe and it's beefy enough that you're not going to have an issue. Split a little bit, but there's a knot there. You're not going to have an issue with uh, breaking this thing. And this is some pretty seasoned wood here. It's really following the grain, and the grain on this is really kind of twisted actually. But I think you get the idea. I mean, I'm not putting a lot of effort into this. I really didn't damage the actual batoning stick uh, much. Um, that really just knocked the bark off of it. It didn't take a whole lot of pressure to get it to do that. This thing is awesome, guys. You're not going to find too many regular bushcrafting knives um, that with very little effort will bury themselves that far into the wood. does come with a plastic nylon sheath, um, sort of like Kydex, um, but it's got plenty of lashing spots in it, which I do have my um, Mora uh, companion uh, lashed to the actual sheath so that we can hang it from the belt like so. Um, it's got a Velcro extra tie but to be honest with you that this isn't coming out of there that noise is from uh, the mora being a little bit loose on here but it's not coming out either all right I'm gonna put the specs probably over here uh, or maybe over here or maybe even on both sides um, this thing is sharper than hell. Uh, does that make sense? Uh, it's got TP, TPE handles on it, um, which just have an 
absolutely perfect grip for my hand. Um, it is full tang. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. It's got a great finger choil for doing the fine detail. It's sharp enough that it will make great feather sticks. Um, I mean, as, as big as this thing is, it is absolutely great at even making feather sticks. Um, this is a little bit of Indiana Fatwood. Um, this thing's amazing. And it's got a super sharp spine on it. Hopefully you can see these sparks. This thing is just an all-around beast, and uh, kind of like my American Express, I wouldn't leave home without it. So thanks for coming by today. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I think it's over here. Hit that bell if you want to see more of these videos. Always remember that just get out and enjoy this and spend the time and not the money. And this is really, really, really wet wood. Actually, I should probably reset this. Jesus, I drove it in there so I can't get it out. I'll be back in just a second.